Hey everyone, welcome back. Guys, in this video, you are going to learn an automation which is designed and created to fast pace your lead capturing and nurturing process. So here, the idea is that you are collecting the data of your leads for your business inside a spreadsheet. And you also want to add the same data of your leads into a CRM application, which is basically designed to interact with your customers and to nurture your leads. Okay, so here, with this automation, you can add the data of your leads directly from your spreadsheet into the CRM application. Okay, so you need not to manually sort out the details of your leads from the spreadsheet, then manually uh, enter the same data into your CRM as well. So it will surely save a lot of your time. And not only this, if you want to add some customized data, some particular values of your leads from your spreadsheet into your CRM, you can also use this automation for that also. So let me show you how this is going to work. So this will be the flow of this automation. Here we have taken the example of Google Sheets application to enter the details of the leads. In place of this, you can use any other spreadsheet application as well like Airtable. And as and when you enter the data of your lead here in a row in the spreadsheet, the data of the same lead will be added into your Zoho CRM application automatically. So we have taken the example of Zoho CRM in place of this, you can use any other like HubSpot as well. Okay. And to make this happen, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And the best part is anyone can set up this automation because we do not need any coding skills or programming knowledge to set up this automation. Okay. So let's set up this automation together right now. So guys, to set up this automation, first of all, you need to reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect and to reach there, you have to sign up here from this link pabli.com slash connect. So you can see this same link in the description. And from there, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month. So sign up right now and log in to reach here and you will find the dashboard like this. Okay. And from here, guys, you have to click on this create workflow button to create a workflow of automation. And here you can give a suitable name to this workflow. So I am giving the name here as Google Sheets to Zoho CRM. Okay. So you can give any name according to you after giving the name, just click on create and you can see your workflow page is loading up here. And on this page, you will see the trigger and the action. So automation work on these two things. So the trigger is an event which triggers or starts the workflow and the action is the response towards the trigger. As in our use case, the trigger would be adding off a leads data in a row here in Google Sheet and the action towards that trigger would be to send the same lead inside your Zoho CRM application. Okay, so first of all, you have to set up this trigger. So from this choose app field, you have to choose your trigger application. So our trigger application would be Google Sheets application because we are adding the data of leads there. Okay, so select Google Sheets from here like this. And in the trigger event, select this new or updated spreadsheet row option. So it will trigger when a new row is added. Okay. And it will give you this URL. This is called as a webhook URL guys. And it is used to fetch the data out from any external application. Okay. So uh, with the help of this, we are going to make a connection with Google sheet and we are going to capture the data from the sheet to here in Pabli Connect. Okay. So you need to follow these instructions written here to make that connection. So you can uh, carefully read the instructions, then follow them. Let me show you how exactly we can make this connection. So guys, first of all, you need to reach the uh, spreadsheet application, which is here. Here I have created this spreadsheet and here I have entered the data of my lead like this. Okay. And uh, from here, you have to click on extensions and from this add ons button, click on get add ons. So this window, which is Google workspace marketplace will open up. And from here, you have to install an add on here, which is called Pabli connect webhooks. Search for Pabli connect webhooks and install it add on here. Install this add on here and it will just take two minutes. As you can see, it is written installed. This means I have already installed it. So I do not need to install it again. So once you install it, you need to refresh your spreadsheet. This is an important step after installing Pabli Connect Webhooks add-on. 
please refresh your spreadsheet. And after that, when you click on extensions, you will find this public connect Webox option available in this drop down only. And from here, you have to click on click on initial setup. Okay. And under the initial setup, it will show you these two fields, the webhook URL field and the trigger column field. Okay. So here in the webhook URL field, you have to paste the webhook URL that you have copied from public connect and the trigger column, you have to enter the name of the final or the last data entry column that you have in your spreadsheet. Let me show you. You can see this is my final data entry column. Final data entry column means we are going to start entering the details of a lead from this first column, then the B from A column, then B column, then C column, then D. And as I enter the data here in the E column, that is going to trigger the workflow and the data will be sent from here into CRM. Okay. So E column is our final data entry column. So first of all, let me uh, copy my webhook URL from my workflow. Then come back to your spreadsheet. Click on extensions from Babli Connect Webhooks. Click on initial setup. And here in the webhook URL field, just paste the webhook URL that you have copied like this. Put the trigger, trigger column as E. Okay. Now you can see here in the workflow, as I have copied the webhook URL, it started showing this waiting for the webhooks response. So now you have to perform a test submission. Test submission will be uh, means now you have to capture the data from your spreadsheet to here, which will act as the test data to set up this automation. Okay. So our test data would be equal to this trigger event. That means we have to enter a row or what you can do. You just come back to your spreadsheet and from this initial setup only just click on this send test button. So when you click on send test, the data of the first row we have, will be sent to my workflow as the test data. Let me show you. I'm clicking on send, send test. And you can see the test data sent successfully is written here. Okay. Let's check in our workflow if we got the data. And here you can see in this response received section, we got the data as this, the first name, the last name, the email, the gender, the phone number, and the spreadsheets name and all the things related to the sheet. Okay. So that's how we can capture the test data. Now go back to the spreadsheet and from here only click on submit and we are done making, making the connection and you have to do our last thing here, which is click on extensions and from public connect webhooks initial setup, click on this send on event button also. So when you check this send on event option, what will happen whenever you add a new row here that is going to trigger the workflow and the data will be sent. Okay. So we have captured the data. Now I want to send this data into my CRM application. Okay. Which is Zoho. Let me show you my Z Zoho CRMs. This is my Zoho CRMs dashboard. Here I have the leads module. Under the leads module, uh, let me show you as I create a lead here by clicking on this create lead button, it will ask for these two things here. It will give you two layouts, a custom layout and a standard layout. So in the standard layout, it will give you these default fields to add the leads here. It will give you the lead owner's name, the first name, the title, phone number, and all these things related to your lead. You can enter here and you can also create some customized fields in the customized layout section. So in the customized layout section, I have entered a, a mo one more field here which is the gender field. You can see here it is not asking for the gender of the lead, but we want to add the data of the gender also so that we can use that data. So in the customized layout, I have added a new field here, which is gender. Okay. And here in the spreadsheet, I'm also entering the details of the lead according uh, along with the gender details. Okay. Here we have male and female option from here. We can select the gender. Okay. So uh, I want to send this customized data into my Zoho CRM in the custom layout. Okay. For that to happen, what you have to do, you have to connect uh, Zoho CRM first in this action step. So from this action step, search for Zoho CRM. This is Zoho CRM guys, select it. Okay. And in the action event, select insert record option. So it will create a lead deal, contact task, etc. Select this, click on connect 
and from here select add new connection and then click on connect with Zoho CRM okay so here it is asking to enter the domain uh, in which your Zoho accounts belongs to okay so you can see where your Zoho accounts belongs to from the URL here you can see we are in Zoho.in okay so you have to put here Zoho.in just copy this and paste it here then click on save and then it will bring you to the login window if you are not logged in as I have already logged in in Zoho it is just asking to give permissions to public connect just click on accept and you will be connected with Zoho CRM in a few moments like this okay so we are now connected and here now it is asking for the modules name so I want to add the data in the leads module that we have you can see in the leads module so select this module from here leads and now it is asking for the layout you can see here so here in the layout field you can select the layout so I want to enter the data in custom layout so I'm selecting custom layout and here it will show you all the fields that you have in the custom layout section of your lead module okay so here it started showing all these things guys that you can enter so here I am going to map the test data labels that I have received here in the first step okay so I'm going to use these labels to map the data here so to map the data just come back to this step and I do not want to provide any image so I'm leaving this thing blank in the lead owner's name you can manually enter the lead owner's name as uh, the owner of the as the name of the account owner so Neeraj was the name in the company if you have the company details you can enter it right now I am starting with the first name so just click here and you will find this Google sheet step in the drop down and when you click on it you can see the all the data that you have received from the first step here only and from here I'm going to map the first name salutation if you want to provide a salutation you can put it select it from here okay the last name map from the first step like this okay if you want to enter the full name again map both of these things first name and the last name together like this okay if you have the designation you can map the designation here let me map the email we got the email address is this okay and from here you can select the gender or you can map the gender actually just toggle this map button to on and map the genders data from the first step like this okay for the phone number use the first step and map it okay lead status you can check the lead status select the lead status from here pre-qualified or contacted whatever you can select the lead source as well okay and you, they have many fields if you have all the data you can map all the data so why we are mapping these details here so when you map the details like this what will happen whenever you enter the data here in the spreadsheet these mapped labels are going to change accordingly according to the data that you have entered and a new lead will be added here inside your CRM okay right now you can check your connection with Zoho CRM by clicking on this save and send request option here so guys before clicking on save and send test request let me tell you one thing more that here in the lead owner section you do not have to put the name of the lead owner instead you have to put the id of the owner and that you will get the id from this profile section you will get this user id uh, just here in the profile section just copy this user id like this and paste it here in the lead owners field okay now let me click on save and send test request here okay and let's see what happens and you can see this is the response we have received it is showing value as success let's check in our crm application if we got a new lead added and this is my lead section let me refresh this module and here you can see ashmita jain is added as a new lead here with the customized fields guys in the leads module okay and you can see all the details related to this person here after opening it okay 
so this is how it is going to work guys so our connection is working fine and this is the same data that we have mapped here what captured in Zoho CRM as lead so you can also set up this automation by connecting Google Sheets in the trigger and by capturing the test data as this after that connect Zoho CRM in the action step and map the required data like this and when you map the data like this what will happen whenever you add a new data in the row these labels are going to change and this automation will run and the best part is you can use the same workflow that I have created because I am going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel